SpaceX has finally made incredible adjustments to solve the heat shield tile issue where the tiles would fall off during Starship's engine related tests. Re entry is the most dangerous part of a spacecraft's mission, where temperatures and other outside forces push materials and technology to the limit. Traveling at more than 7 kilometers a second and generating temperatures of over 1600 degrees centigrade, a spacecraft hurtles towards the ground carrying people and equipment. Its body glows red hot from the heat generated by friction with the atmosphere. At this point, it would be melting if it weren't for the heat shields. These shields work by covering a large rounded surface with compounds that, when superheated during re-entry, burn off. This dissipates the heat as the material is burnt away. A gassy barrier forms that further insulates from heat. However, while these shields are good at protecting the spacecraft from burning, they have their own problem. Heat shields falling off of a rocket is very common in the rocket industry, even when it comes to crew missions. Let's rewind a couple of decades back to the 1980s. Extensive tile damage was observed by ground crews after the shuttle Atlantis touched down at Edwards Air Force Base in December of 1988. STS-27 was a Department of Defense flight and launch of a surveillance satellite for the National Reconnaissance Office and the CIA. Atlantis sustained heavy damage to its heat shield during STS-27, suffering over 700 damaged or missing tiles. You can see the tile damage in this picture. Note the white pockmarks scattered along the black tiles on the near side of the shuttle. The damage was so bad, it was enough to shake veteran astronaut Robert Hoot Gibson. I said to myself, we are gonna die. The worst of the damage is pictured here. Thankfully, as Gibson explained, there was a steel plate that took the brunt of the heat from re-entry. And now, Starship's first orbital flight looks like it won't be able to avoid this problem. However, Elon Musk and his team had a solution. Indeed, SpaceX has long developed a heat shield capable of safely returning orbital Starships back to Earth. These heat tiles are designed to protect the rocket during atmospheric entry. The ship will enter Mars's atmosphere at speeds of around 27,000 km per hour. It'll slow itself down using a belly flop maneuver similar to a skydiver. Starship will have to withstand some high temperatures. The air hitting the space shuttle during re-entry reached around 1,650 degrees centigrade as it compressed against the surface. Perseverance, NASA's latest Mars rover, reached similarly toasty temperatures of around 1,300 degrees centigrade when it entered the planet's atmosphere in February. SpaceX chose stainless steel for the Starship to better protect against those high temperatures. In an interview back in January of 2019 with Popular Mechanics, Musk explained that aluminum and carbon fiber operate in a steady state up to around 150 degrees centigrade. Stainless steel, on the other hand, can reach up to 870 degrees. That's an improvement, but it means the steel would need some help to endure a landing. There's no question that thermal protection tiles are key to a spacecraft surviving re-entry. The heat shields will heat up and burn away, carrying away the energy with it. SpaceX is aiming to make the upper stage fully reusable, which will be a first in the aerospace world. Starship survival as it will flip itself at an angle that exposes the shield to either the Earth or Mars's atmosphere. Any tiny error in this area will result in the spacecraft's disintegration during landing and threaten the lives of the crew on board should it receive a human rating. In order to allow quick reusability, Starship uses ceramic thermal protection tiles to insulate the spacecraft from the heat of re-entry. The tiles, like those of the space shuttle, are extremely lightweight and fragile. However, unlike the shuttle's square tiles, Starship's tiles are hexagonal. The hexagon is a great shape because it, as Musk says, offers no straight path for hot gas to accelerate through the gaps. Interestingly enough, that shape also helps to prevent heat shield tiles coming loose during re-entry from creating chain reactions. 
Essentially, when a hexagon pops off, that exposes the two hexagons in the next layer, but the force is shared over half the width of two hexagons. Unlike with a square grid where the full force is on one square, granted a brick pattern could be used for square tiles, and the space shuttle did a bit of this kind of tiling, but overall was pretty irregular. Hexagons also present an angle to the air flow, which I think is meant to help the air to flow smoothly rather than ripping. Also, the pressures during re-entry are generally less than during ascent for a vehicle that does a good lifting re-entry. Using the space shuttle data, and during re-entry pressure is actually highest at low speeds when the vehicle has descended into thicker atmosphere. Also, re-entry is actually quite gentle and smooth compared with the rigors of launch and probably the flip landing burn. Perhaps even static fire. I mean, it's hot, but it's not shaky or violent. So, assuming the tile fastening doesn't become dramatically weaker with heat, if the tiles withstood ascent, they'll probably be okay during descent. It's also worth noting that during ascent, the airflow is generally at a better angle for ripping off tiles. During EDL, or entry, descent, and landing, Starship is mostly belly flopping, where pressure mostly presses the tiles into place, especially where the brunt of the heating is located. But this won't be of any comfort if during ascent, most of the tiles get ripped off. So if the tiles manage to stay on during the static fire and launch slash ascent, EDL should go well too. But on the flip side, SpaceX apparently does not want to glue the tiles on like what happened with the shuttle because it takes too much maintenance time for replacement and refurbishment. Instead, Starship's tiles are attached to the stainless steel exterior with studs. Elon also fixed the problem with the missing tiles on Starship by putting that white, flexible ceramic fiber mat between the back of the tile and the stainless steel of Starship. That mat is probably something like Cal Wool 3000, which can be used up to around 1530 degrees centigrade without burning or ripping off. Even if one or more tiles fall off, that mat will still be stuck to the ship. In theory, Starship's structure can thus withstand and remain functional at temperatures approaching 800 degrees centigrade, whereas the shuttle's heat shield had to keep the vehicle's aluminum structure below 180 degrees. But of course, so far, Starship has yet to attempt to survive an orbital velocity re-entry with some 25,000 ceramic heat shield tiles mounted directly to its steel exterior. But if successful, SpaceX's ultra-simple design could give Starship massive advantages over the Shuttle, which will ultimately prove to be more dangerous than traditional crew capsules and about as expensive as a similarly capable expendable rocket. Hopefully we'll see these new adjustments and implementations in action in the upcoming tests. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX and my team and I will see you next time.